In this series of crank along videos, we're going to learn to knit a setup bonnet. So it has a cuff at the top with split rings and then a body section. Here's what it looks like without the ribbon. You'll see then there are some eyelet holes here in this bottom cuff. And then we'll finally wrap it up with a hung hem and lats tool bind off. So grab your materials and let's get started. You'll need about 20 grams of fingering weight sock yarn and we recommend yarn with at least 20% nylon. If this is one of your first Dina Bean projects, we recommend using a thinner weight fingering weight sock yarn. It makes it just a little bit easier to knit. Here I have two side by side. You can see these are both considered fingering weight sock yarn, but this one is actually quite a bit thicker than this one. So the thinner the yarn, the easier it is when you're first learning. The tension can just be a little looser and it's just a little bit more forgiving. You're also going to want some waist yarn in a sharply contrasting color, but about the same weight. So again, if you have a thin sock yarn or um, project yarn, you're going to want a thin waist yarn as well. For this project, you're going to want a ravel cord and it's handy to have about six pieces of scrap yarn nearby, perhaps one in a contrasting color. You'll need split rings, half as many as the number of needles in your cylinder, plus a piece of ribbon. We usually use about a quarter of an inch and this is around 18 inches long. And we use fray check, which helps keep the ends from unraveling. Tools that we always use, of course, include a setup bonnet, but you can just use a scrap tube of knitting if you don't yet have a setup bonnet. You'll need a set of soft weights. I have a heavy, medium, and light. I mainly use the medium and on the 2.0 machine, just under two pounds, I find to be the most ideal with a cable ring, of course. And then from this set of tools, I have the loom tool, which is a little less sharp. I have a pick tool, which is very sharp, a latch tool, uh, some darning needles. I always, always keep my screwdriver nearby, a pair of tweezers for picking up drop stitches. And then it's often handy to have some weighted clips. Today I'm knitting on a 60 needle cylinder because I want to make a 60 needle setup bonnet. You would obviously use whichever size cylinder is the size that you're making the setup bonnet for. Before we get started with our project, I wanted to make sure we're oriented the same way as I'm sharing directions. And these are the same ones that we use in our written patterns. So I think of the machine itself as a clock. So 12 o'clock is up here. I'm right in front of the row counter. And I get this question a lot. I mean, on the part of the camshell that does not move. So people often ask if the, the 12 o'clock is on the cylinder, but of course the cylinder moves. So that's hard for me to wrap my head around how 12 o'clock would keep spinning around. So for me and in all of our videos, 12 o'clock always means right here at the top, no matter what's happening with the cylinder. So then six o'clock is down here, right in the center, nine o'clock and three o'clock. I often have instructions to stop with the main mark at four o'clock. And in my mind, that's about, you know, it's roughly here between the cable post and the side of the side gear. And then I often also provide instructions to stop with a particular mark at the break in the yarn feeder. And so I mean right here uh, where the yarn goes out through the little split in the yarn feeder. If we then look at the cylinder itself, there's a whole page on the Dina Bean site for marking your cylinder and it has diagrams for every size cylinder for how many needles go between the marks. And of course you can use any color you want. On our videos, it's always consistent that black is the main mark, red is the halfway mark, and then there are four target needles marked and on ours, those are always pink. So there are two here at the top and two here at the bottom. And the final reference I use often is I will say to go to the right or left of a particular mark. 
And I always mean when looking at the cylinder from the outside. So if this is the main mark and I'm referencing the needle to the right of the main mark, it's this needle. Okay, so the one to the right when you're looking from the outside of the cylinder. Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.